Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone DC-01 Network Data Center. Now this is quite an interesting product because in essence it's kind of like a computer system but also a storage device so kind of like a network attached storage device it comes in a couple different colors silver and black it has gigabit network storage which is fantastic because it has a gigabit connection uh, which will allow tremendous speeds and you can retrieve data also send data to this DLNA iTunes server you can also set it up as Samba uh, FTP NFS uh, the uh, Apple's bonjour service and uh, BitTorrent and VPN client also it works for Windows 7 Vista and the Mac OS. And let's have a look and see what's inside. We've got the user's manual. This is an RJ45 cable. It's a category 5E. The power adapter. I believe these are rubber feet. A number of small screws. And the main unit. And this little thing is kind of heavy in this styrofoam bag. And this is the silver version, but you can get this in a black version. Now let's have a closer look. The enclosure is entirely brushed aluminum. At the front there's a status LED and at the back a number of connections. Power button. Here's where the power adapter gets connected. Two USB ports, an external serial ATA port or eSATA port, as well as a gigabit LAN port, and a reset button. Now you can also secure this. Now at the top, there's lots of ventilation. You really can't see it that well because they have this top cover on over it, but there is enough space for heat to escape. And at the bottom, there's more ventilation and on each corner is where the feet get attached. Now to install a two and a half inch hard drive in this unit, all you need to do is first remove two small screws at the bottom and then lift the top part off. Now you can see where the two and a half inch hard drive gets installed. And here at the back is the serial ATA data connection and the serial ATA power connection. So just simply place the drive down, slide it back and then secure it with two screws. What this is in essence is a computer system. You've got a little teeny tiny motherboard, a hard drive, memory connections here at the back. You just access it through a network connection. Now let's have a closer look at the graphical user interface. To connect to this unit, all you need to do first is connect the power adapter, then the network cable, and then open up your favorite web browser. In the address bar, type in http colon slash slash myakitio.com. Next, enter the MAC address and click enter. Next, log into your account. The default username and password for the administrator is admin, but remember to change this later. One of the first things that you will need to do is create a home partition. Just click OK. You've got a few options here, partition, raid, and installation wizard. I'll go ahead and do an auto installation wizard. Let me just go over a few things here. On the desktop, you've got my server, my photos, my music, my videos, as well as a recycle bin so very similar kind of setup to Windows 7 in a way kind of does look Mac-ish and here at the bottom you as well got my server album a media player address book social network which includes Facebook Flickr and YouTube as well as disk manager and all kinds of different preferences. Now let's see how fast I can transfer a two gigabyte movie file onto this device. Keep an eye on the speed.
Now, if you're considering building a server to store your data on, well, you might want to reconsider depending on what type of server that you want. If you want to have a very robust server with a massive amount of storage, then this is probably not the option. But if you're looking like to have, you know, one or two gigabytes of capacity or a little more, then this might be an option because in essence, this is a computer system which you access via the network. So it makes it extremely easy. I mean, you get this, you basically turn it on, connect to the network, connect to it, dump your stuff on it, and you're finished. You don't have to get involved with thinking about what goes into building a server. And then usually, you know, if you build a server, it's going to be fairly large. It will not be as elegant looking as this little tiny thing. The overall design and build quality on this is exceptional. It performs extremely well and is affordable. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.